hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i am here with a new video today that is about the harmful microorganisms this is the third part of the video if you have not come up with the first and second part of the video it is already uploaded on my channel i will also provide a link in the description box and before starting the video if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button there to get the notification at the earliest okay let's start with the video today we are going to study about the harmful microorganisms okay so you have already come up with the friendly microorganisms you have seen how the microorganisms can also be useful to us now we will come now we will know how these microorganisms are harmful to us so the first thing what we have to learn here is about the pathogens okay so what the what do you mean by this pathogens the disease causing microorganisms are known as pathogens the microorganisms which causes us disease those microorganisms are nothing but called as pathogens okay next we should know what what are communicable diseases so communicable diseases the microbial diseases that can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air water food or physical contact are called communicable diseases okay so there are many diseases which can spread from one person to another okay through air water food or physical contact so some of the common diseases are cholera common cold chicken pox and there are many other diseases too okay so these diseases are nothing but known as communicable diseases okay so these communicable diseases are spread by the microorganisms these are known as microbial diseases okay spread by microorganisms next how this how this communicable diseases are spread through air water food or physical contact simply whether they will spread no there is a reason how they are spreading isn't it so that is nothing but the carrier of diseases what do you mean by carrier of diseases okay the insects and animals also act as the carrier in spreading the diseases the communicable diseases which are spread from person to person they are nothing but spread by the carrier of diseases for example house fly female anopheles mosquito and female aedes mosquito etc so let me tell you how this house fly helps in spreading the diseases okay so what does house fly does it sits on uh, the waste products which we throw outside our house and even the animal excretoras animal waste products which is coming out of their body that are known as excreta okay so these house flies sit on those uh, waste product garbages and also the animal ex excreta and it it enters our house it enters our house and sit on the food which is open okay and later when we eat that open food we are having some diseases okay similarly common cold or omitting uh, loose motions all this are caused due to this house fly what does it do it sit on garbages it sit on waste product outside and sit on our food which is healthy which is healthy and which is freshly prepared and kept open okay it sit on those food contaminate that food and due to that contamination we get diseases so it is advised uh, it is advised to not to keep the food open we should always keep the food in a closed container okay next comes about the female anopheles mosquito and female aedes aedes mosquito so these two mosquitoes helps in spreading malaria as well as dengue so how they are used in uh, spreading malaria as well as dengue see we all know that all mosquitoes breed in water yes we all know that all mosquitoes breed in water so we should never never let to collect water anywhere okay see we have seen many times that water is collected in the flower pot or uh, uh, nearer to any pit the water will be collected so that collected water in that collected water what this mosquito start breeding and that is the starting point of the diseases called malaria as well as dengue okay so next 
moving on to the next part disease causing microorganisms in animals now we have seen disease causing microorganisms in human beings can this microorganisms cause disease in animals yes you heard me right that is anthrax a disease a dangerous disease in human as well as cattle okay anthrax is a dangerous disease for humans as well as cattle i will try to insert a picture of this uh, anthrax disease it is the disease which is caused by bacteria okay it is the disease which is caused by bacteria and a scientist by name robert koch in in the year 1876 he discovered bacterium called bacillus anthracis which causes the anthrax disease so he has found it out a bacteria that is known as bacillus anthracis which is the causing agent for this disease as anthrax disease okay so next moving on to the next part disease causing microorganisms in plants so there are disease causing microorganisms in plants too as we have noticed in human beings animals okay similarly we can notice the microorganisms that causes disease in plants so there are many diseases like citrus canker rust of wheat yellow vein mosaic of okra are the common plant disease okay so these are the common plant disease you may have seen uh, you may have seen the leaves of the plants are getting damaged and later on the in the agricultural field the farmers will spray some chemicals or pesticides we can say due to that pesticides all this microorganisms are vanished and we get a good yield or we can say we get a good crop in the agricultural field okay next coming on to the next part food poisoning how this microorganisms helps in food poisoning can you may have you may have been thinking food can be poisoned yes food can be also poisonous so i have already told you in the above case that this house fly what does house fly does it it sits on all the garbages outside and it comes and sit on your freshly prepared food which is opened which is kept opened so these microorganisms grow on our food sometimes and provide uh, toxic substances it can cause serious illness and even death if it is not treated by a proper doctor or a, it is not treated immediately it can cause illness as well as the death of the organism okay I hope you understand this video if you have any doubt regarding this video you can comment me down below and also don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you